Hello. Today is Friday, July 22nd, 2022. It's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. And I wanted first by start off by saying thank you for those of you who reached out to me during my absence to check on me. I took a little time off, right? Okay, well today I'm talking about attitudes toward the pandemic. And the Pew Research Center recently released results from a survey conducted in May of this year. They had over 10,000 Americans and there were so many interesting findings in this survey, including findings that were reported by political party affiliation, and I'm not discussing those today. I will report on some of the public health uh, focused findings. So 43% say of these respondents said that the country has given about the right amount of priority to protecting public health. Eight in 10 Americans that responded said that hospitals and medical centers in their area were doing an excellent or good job responding to the outbreak. And respondents indicated that they were less concerned about getting a serious case of COVID than earlier in the outbreak. 76% of the respondents say the worst of the country's problems from the coronavirus are behind us. And most said treatments for people with the coronavirus have gotten better. Now, 86% said the outbreak remains at least a minor threat to the health of the U.S. population, and the majority said that the country has given too little priority to the needs of K-12 uh, students in school systems. Now, when it comes to public health interventions and their effectiveness at limiting the spread of the coronavirus, 48% said mask around other people indoors has been effective. 55% say vaccination is effective. 47% say limiting activities and interactions with other people has been effective. And 43% of the public think that the wide availability of rapid COVID tests is seen as very effective in limiting the spread of the coronavirus. Now these results are interesting. And again, there's a whole lot more results that I'm not discussing. So in my little humble opinion, the results of this survey uh, make me conclude that as a nation, if they are representative, we've become complacent about this pandemic. We're not worried about getting a serious infection anymore. And we believe that the worst of the pandemic is behind us. And I certainly hope that is true. We don't have a lot of overwhelming confidence in our vaccines and our prevention tools, at least according to the respondents, uh, what they uh, responded to on this survey. And perhaps we are overly confident in our medical care and treatments and our medical care systems. And we are concerned about students in our K through 12 schools, which I think is a good thing. Now, this survey was done two months ago. Perhaps if it was done today in the midst of this BA5 surge, results may be different. I don't know. But the present reality is, of course, we're in the midst of another wave or surge, whatever you want to call it, with BA5 Omicron variant that has infected so many people, including the president, Biden, the president of the United States. You know, schools across the nation will resume in the upcoming weeks, yet few of our children in public schools are going to be wearing masks. Very few of our children who are eligible will be fully vaccinated against COVID. Those are facts. And very few K through 12 public school systems will have state of the art air ventilation systems. So, you know, I don't know what that means for this third pandemic school year, but we'll find out. Now, a lot of the results that I didn't discuss were around political party lines. And it just makes me want to say out loud that, you know, the virus doesn't care if you're Republican, Democrat, doesn't discriminate on the basis of race, culture, language, geography, age, income, or any other ways we like to differentiate ourselves. I also want to wish President Biden a complete recovery from his COVID infection. Any COVID infection is never a good thing. And remind people that, you know, this virus doesn't have to have unlimited access to our bodies. Please use the tools in your toolbox. We have effective tools to mitigate this virus that are simple as changing our behaviors. And I want to emphasize again that the current COVID vaccines are truly highly effective in preventing hospitalization and death, even if they don't stop you from getting COVID. And I know it's just my opinion, but I think recovering from COVID is better than dying from COVID. So do be well, folks, and take care.